State and local lawmakers in Virginia are diving deeper into the recently released report on what went wrong in January's snowstorm response that caused all that gridlock on I-95. And one of those lawmakers went one-on-one -on -one with Sharin Rajay tonight. She joined us now from the newsroom with more. Yeah, there are a lot of actionable elements in this report, guys, and understanding how this happened will be critical in making sure the chaos and disaster we saw on I-95 with people trapped in their cars for hours will not happen again. Congresswoman Abigail Spanberger, representing Virginia's 7th District, has been very vocal about her concerns. She shares a few of her takeaways from this report, starting with better communication between state agencies. And essentially, the report pretty much spells out that there cannot be too too much communication among these entities, that there needs to be a constant meeting of people from the different agencies, from the governor's office, making sure that they are getting bit by bit, blow by blow updates to a circumstance. Uh, another one of the takeaways was communication with motorists, perhaps advising motorists earlier um, and in more clear terms uh, what, the, what the advisories are, whether it is do not get on the road, or this road is shut down. Spanberger adds that another failure was not calling for a state of emergency earlier. Now she does applaud the Yunkin administration for already doing this in a more proactive sense so that state and local communities can bring in additional resources faster. The report also touched on how the National Guard was not brought in to help because of a protocol that required a minimum of a 12-hour notice for the Guard and that the Guard would essentially have to deal with the same jammed roads to get to the people on I-95. But Spanberger says the Guard could could have been useful in other ways. Beyond the closure of 95, a lot of the side roads are where we saw really important impact and secondary road closures, trees that had fallen down so that part of the issue was that people couldn't necessarily get off 95 because there were no additional roads for them to take. And so that's where the guard really can be helpful. Spanberger says that there's not just one decision that led to the madness of January 3rd, but a culmination of a number of issues. She's calling on Governor Yunkin to implement many of the strategies outlined in this report. Angie. Thanks, Sharon.